guys welcome back to my channel i am jan bisho and you're watching jan of kaduna today's hashtag sustainable sundays and in today's video i'm going to be talking about climate change for dummies now disclaimer before i start this video i am in no way a climate scientist or an environmental scientist i'm just a concerned member of this planet called earth now if you're in if you're living in this earth in recent times you've heard a lot about climate change you've been hearing a lot about the climate crisis you've been hearing about cop26 cop26 you've been hearing a lot about climate this climate that green uh, greenhouse effects greenhouse gases you've been hearing a whole lot of all that jargon but what is all this thing about well to spell it out to you plainly we are under attack and we are the reason for why we are under attack yes we human beings living in this planet called earth we are the reasons we are the reason why the earth is under attack now climate change is here now what is climate change normally our climate always changes it seems um according to scientific records right from time immemorial climate always changes but why is this climate change so so big so so climate change everywhere well because this climate change that we have seen according to scientists that they have seen in recent times is so drastic that they have not seen this kind of climate change in thousands of years so that means something is wrong and we already seen the effects of this climate change within our environment within our atmosphere within our way of life and if something is not done mm -mm. now what causes climate change now in the earth when you do some activities you emit methane you emit co2 those are greenhouse gases you uh, emit nitrous oxide even water vapor they are all greenhouse gases now these gases they go up in the atmosphere but they don't totally go away they are just hanging somewhere in the atmosphere with increasing um, activities of humans and also with the industrial boom, everybody is, the whole world is trying to be more industrialized. Every, like, we saw a boom in the increase of this greenhouse gases because the burning of fossil fuels, which was, the, which was one of the ways that we were able to industrialize ourselves in the world rapidly, the burning of all these um, fossil fuels causes more um, greenhouse gases to be emitted out into the atmosphere and with that it continues increasing and increasing and yes we are supposed to have like carbon sinks that collect part of the carbon that we emit out but we also with industrialization and urbanization we destroy forests so that people can live so that we could have large farms we can do things that we want to do to make ourselves seem work and urban and at the same time we are destroying the carbon sinks now you also say okay we have seas and oceans well they are also part of they are also ways um they are also carbon sinks but the seas and oceans cannot contain the the amount of co2 that we are continually giving out and because of that the temperatures of the seas are rising and they are becoming more acidic and also with plastic all over we are even this we are even um stopping um the co2 from even getting into the seas because we are blocked with plastic everywhere that is one thing so now what these gases do when they do they are all there and they've now formed a blanket so now sun comes into the earth but there's excess heat that could go out but it cannot go out because well we have greenhouse gases covering the earth covering the atmosphere and so they this excess heat cannot go out and that means more heat for us on earth and that all just combines all this jubala boo to form climate change and it's going to be disastrous and it's already we already seen the effect and even if you try to deny it, it's actually very very out there for us for instance for us in nigeria we are beginning to see more farmer headsmen clashes and well 
it's partly due to climate change because we have droughts in places that we that they have lower rainfalls they have lesser rainfall and because of this um some of these headsmen most of them actually live in areas that have lower rainfall so they're actually looking for ways to get food and water for their cattle and they have there's going to be in migration and there's going to be more mass migration and there's going to be more farmer head farmer headsmen clashes because this headsman, the only way of life they know is their cattle and how to provide for their cattle. And the farmers, they know their crops and how to make sure that they yield from what they are getting. And already it's not as if the rainfall is enough for the crops. And then you have to share with cattle and farmer headsman clashes are always going to continue. We are already seeing it in Africa. Um, we are seeing we are seeing heat waves around the world. We are seeing melting of the Arctic regions, Greenland, Arctic, Antarctica. The ice caps are melting, increase in sea levels, more flooding. There's going to be, and when there's drought, there's going, for sure, if there's drought, there's not going to be water for the food, for, for food in the soil, for vegetation, and there's no food in the soil. Human and animals, they are going to suffer. And all these are due to our activities for instance for all um, for us in developing countries nigeria we still heavily rely on fossil fuels because for especially in nigeria we are we are a oil producing country we are an oil producing economy and we heavily rely on this fossil fuels to survive but now we have to start thinking differently we have to start thinking of more renewable ways for us to be able to get our energy for us to be able to get things that we'll need to be able to improve ourselves and industrialize ourselves for especially for us in emerging economies so in a nutshell i'm just trying to say that climate change is here and we cost it and we are the only ones that can be able to reduce the effect we are the only ones that can be able to do what is beneficial to us and beneficial to our society and that's why i personally have started to start living a more sustainable lifestyle because i believe that with the little changes i make in my lifestyle like trying to reduce what i trying to reduce what i do trying to reuse the things i use trying to recycle trying to do things that are beneficial to me and for the environment is going to make a small but big impact at the end of it all and you too watching this can also start your own sustainable journey and you could watch my channel subscribe to my channel and you could see ways that you as a nigerian you as an african can make your own little small or concise steps and concise um ways for you to be able to make more sustainable decisions and live a more sustainable lifestyle I know that yes, it doesn't just lie with us, but it starts with us. So if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe and watch out for my next video. Like, share and all that good stuff. Remember, you can be the change you want to see.